but some of these flashes discharge miles out in the ocean. So we have, a, in fact, I'll, I'll tell you, fishermen all over the world know where to drink water out of the ocean, where the fractures discharge fresh water, and it's very interesting. So here comes wow, this water. Wow, I didn't water. know that either. Yeah, so here it comes, this water, which is uh, less dense than salt, floats to the surface, and here's this algae sitting there. It says, geez, I need to eat. <laughs> here comes all this nitrogen and phosphorus, and you get what they call a algae bloom. And you can see this actually. Uh, they've uh, done some experiments off of Key West in the Atlantic Ocean. They put dyes down, tracers, into the water on the land as well as in the ocean. And they saw it uh, uh, discharging miles out to sea. They could actually measure these tracers popping up through the fractures. Interesting, way out at sea. So they know it happens. And again, if you have a red tide, and by the way, the red tide has been around probably over a billion years, if you want to believe that. Wow. There are fossils called stromatolites in Australia. Right, of right. Red tide, algae. And not to get into the religious side of it, I hate to say this, but we might have evolved from an algae. <laughs> I hate to say right, it. Right. It's, it's possible. Well, I've heard the same thing before. Yes, I've heard the same thing. Uh, that's and that's fascinating. Uh, but I did I did not. Well, I guess it, it could be. Yeah, because I think the correct pron is the pronunciation stromatolites. Is that the way you pronounce it? Yes. Yes. Stromatolites. Uh, right. And I have I've, I knew they were very very ancient and uh, and I guess. Billion. But, uh, so, billion years. So they are primitive life. Very interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very, very around, primitive. And they've been on the seas for, well, seafarers over the years, going back, oh, hundreds and hundreds of years, have come across red tides. And see, the problem we have is a red tide probably has a finite size, uh, 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 you know, the, the bloom itself, but we are producing so much waste through the rock, which is discharging in the ocean, and you get, obviously, the word, the bloom, and it just explodes. Um, so, so that's probably the way it is, is around here. And probably uh, uh, human activity is creating part of this? Then that, that would would that be would oh, I be safe in saying abs that? Absolutely. The priorities we have, and I think it's finally being addressed, is we have to convert our uh, treatment plants to something more modern than what we have. Uh, we have sort of a just a, a primary treatment system instead of a secondary or tertiary. So this. Uh, system we have doesn't you know, remove all these nutrients and again it goes into the rock and into the water so that's one thing uh, septic tanks we're going to have to eliminate those uh, Florida cannot handle septic tanks they just can't do it because our water is so high near the surface and we have a medium the fractured rock which allows the septage to again migrate so that's another thing. Mosaic, uh, again, I'm sorry you have to bring this up, but mosaic is a big polluter. Uh, <laughs> you know what they, they, you know, they, they, they produce radionuclides, uh, solvents, uh, you name it. It's a who's who of contamination. And again, they put it in these, uh, well, uh, areas I think will be are stable and uh, it doesn't happen. And uh, again, it goes into the rock and it moves. Right. That's a big problem. And so it, 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 all that waste just, just doesn't just, just disappear. Well, it may deteriorate over time, but it's going to be there well, for a long time. Am I am I correct? They yes, they have built these what do you call them, gyp stacks, these mountains. 
You know, the top of the mountain is a, they put... Oh, I've seen those. They're up there by the bay, aren't they? Right there by the edge of the bay. Yeah, they're from the the waste from the clay sutling ponds, which are radioactive. It sits in there, and every once in a while, you heard there's breaches, they collapse, and this stuff, as you know, goes into the ground. Now, up at the New Wales uh, mine that was up near Mulberry, Polk County, I have a case I'm working on. Uh, this uh, homeowner, she's about a mile or so, maybe more. Her well, when she turns the water on, is yellow, blue, brown, or black, depending on the day, oh, or mosaic. And that huh. waste, again, went down into the sinkhole, into the fractured rock, and it's on its merry way to the Gulf of Mexico. And along the way, you have wells, people's wells. And they suck up this contamination. Very interesting. And it it's is. a big, big problem. And I've been working on the licensing in uh, uh, DeSoto County, Hardy County, Manny County, Polk County, where Mosaic is ex- wants to expand their mines. They generate a, a billion dollars in revenue per mine. It's incredible. Yes, and... and- uh, it makes it makes you wonder though what I mean. It we it's almost like you you need to make a choice. So they need to, they need to to find some better technology to control this waste. Uh, I don't know. It's this is this is dangerous for people. I mean, these you know. I I guess it's been how long has Mosaic been around here? Do you have any idea? Oh God, I think they date back into almost the late 1800s or 1900 or so. See, they had predecessors that they bought out. So they've been here a long, long time. And, I, you know, I've been up there. Uh, I was with some other people. Some of the, well, they happened to be some of the, there were women there. They were crying. And I felt like crying. We were driving by this moonscape up to Mulberry. Everything is flat and not a living thing growing on this land. It's, it's it's just unbelievable what they do, and you look at the ads on TV with this beautiful stream flowing. Well, I dare anybody to take a ride up to somebody's mines and see what it really looks like. In a day, uh, yeah. one of the days we were there, they were out there with flamethrowers, burning all the brush and every living thing. It's, it's very very ugly. I looked at the. I guess they're, uh, water. They, they're burning that to, because it's already dead. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, I think oh, it's Lord. just brush. There's no. actually this is a this is, I've seen this too. Some of the cattle, the graze, their teeth fall out, and they have to move them into different pastures because the grass is taking up the pollutants. And the cows are eating it. It's very interesting. Oh, Lord. And there's very high incidence of cancers around these mines. Interesting. That's what I've heard, too. I've heard from other sources the very same information about the cancer rates increase in the, in the yeah, cause of very, the toxicity. Oh, yeah. And, and, and just think I, about it. I wonder how, how many of those cows go into burgers later. And what and, and it, it gets right into the food chain. You know, I was up in when I was up in Mulberry. I was looking at their water supply, and it's it's just a basically a, it's a big hole in the ground. And I was looking at a pipe dumping this brown waste into it, and the people who were drinking this, I just couldn't believe it. Lord, uh, well, Lord, Lord is listen, right. Yeah, Lord, 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 help us, uh, David. Listen, we be, we got a, about a minute and a half here to wrap up. Uh, and we're running out of time, so I want you to give me some of your, just summarize some of your thoughts here, and then maybe we can have you back in the future again to talk more about some of these items. This is, this is a serious issue, and people have just got to wake up and realize that this is our environment here. We only have one environment. We can't go, go, to, the, go to the Mars and live there yet. You know, but if it keeps up like we're going, that's what we're going to have to do or find somewhere else. We won't be living in Florida. Well, I have to tell you, I, uh, I'm doing a lot of pro bono work now on, believe it or not, these cancer clusters from people who have drank the water and now are suffering the consequences. But one thing I've done, uh, a group of us went up to the governor's office. Uh, we couldn't meet with the Santas, but we met with um, his uh, planning and budget committee to 
talk about what you and I just discussed, that something has to be done in Florida. We can't keep going on uh, dumping everything in the ground and hope it goes away. And the legislature okay. has to get on board, too. So that's it. Okay, Dave, we, we have to close. So listen, thank, thank you. you so much, and, and, and look forward to having you back again, possibly, because this is an important topic. Thank you again, Yes. and I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. Bye now.